Hey guys, it's Winifred Rider, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. I am your host, Winifred Rider, and we're going here to Gale Isle, because it is our next destination. I figure, you know, where else am I going to go? Uh, Walmart? No. Anyway, so Gale Isle, yes, it is our next destination, and I'll tell you right now, it's the home of the fifth and final dungeon in the game. Excluding the final dungeon, because I never really do include it as a, you know, a real dungeon. But anyway, when you come here, it seems that, uh, well, it seems like we've got some pretty intense wind here, I guess. It's been named Gale Isle for a reason. Doesn't even Link look like Link can do this, so, uh, that's quite a problem if Link can't even come in here, and apparently he only has one eye open, so that's a problem. Okay, well, really quickly, I am here to get a treasure chart at, um, this is treasure chart number four, and I guess we're gonna pull it up, because I don't have anything better to do, you know, I might as well pick them all up. And uh, I might as well tell you guys this now. This is actually take two of recording this because the first time I recorded it, um, well, let's just say that my recording screwed up. I, I'm not actually sure why that happened, but um, this appears to be fine. This is that southern fairy isle, by the way. Fairy island, actually. If I haven't pointed this out before, actually, I think I have. But all the fairy islands are shaped like hearts, and southern fairy island is just an upside down heart. So that's cool to know. You know. Alright, well, let's see what this baby's got for us. I hope it's a heart piece. Piece of heart. Could use one of those. Oh, sure enough it is. Alright, we got a piece of heart. Which gives us a new heart container. Yay, that's always nice. Okay, so right now I am heading to Ice Ring Isle. And uh, you can find that on your map yourself. I'm tired of just showing you all these locations on the map. And this is the uh, place we're going to want to go. If we're going to want to get the item that's required to get into the next temple. So just shoot this head here with a fire arrow. And yeah, same with Fire Mountain, the place where we've got the power bracelets. Is that what? Yeah, the power bracelets. Um, then, uh, this makes this place more accessible. Yeah, you can't go on this place if it's still all icy, like it is before. Although it is quite icy now, but it's not nearly as icy. Now, here is a treasure chest that's um, surrounded in ice. And you're going to want to unfreeze that just by shooting your fire arrow at it. And we're going to want to get a nice prize here. Alright, which is a treasure chart, and as you can see, much similar to Fire Mountain, these places are obviously based on each other, um, we have a five minute time limit. Now, uh, well, I, when I was doing Fire Mountain, yeah, I, I did say that you're not gonna use, um, a lot of the five minutes, y y they really gave you way too much time in Fire Mountain, but, um, oh yeah, you can actually slip here, that's, you need to be careful of the ice, um, but remember in Fire Mountain, they uh, they they gave you way too much time. Now they still give you a little bit too much time, but um, you use the time more. You they, you cut it. It's the oh okay, I almost fell. You you don't cut it very close, still. You still have plenty of time, but uh, it's you know it's a little bit. It's a tiny bit more challenging. Now yeah, um, like I said, you're gonna want to take this pretty slow because as you can see, Link can slip, and I'm sorry I'm putting you through this, Link, but. Uh, Basically, the, you'll see that just now, he's just doing that because I'm starting and stopping all the time, and that's what makes him do that. But the only time we'll act, well, he, uh, that he'll actually fall is, I think, when you're going in one direction at a good speed, and then you suddenly do a 180. I think that's only the, the, real, the real time that Link's actually going to fall, so... Um, falling isn't too much of a threat here. It'd be cool if uh, Link could skate. That'd be cool. I don't think I've ever seen Link skating. You know, like in Super Mario Galaxy. That'd be cool. Um, I don't. I don't know how cool that actually would be. Anyway, so once again, we're gonna want, gonna want to go jump down a hole. As you can see, it's only been like a oh, only sh a short amount of time. We still have plenty of time left. And in here, it's uh, the same thing, just an ice level. You know, call me a downer, but I've never really been a huge fan of ice levels in video games. I'm not sure why. I just haven't really enjoying them. Not because I think that they're harder than most levels, it's just that, I don't know, I just don't, I don't like them that much. Even though I kind of, I don't know, I kind of like this place, I don't know what my problem is. Anyway, yeah, you're, you're probably going to want to get rid of these keys here just because they can get up all up in your face and knock you down there, and you don't want to, you don't want to fall down there, it's a pain in the ass to get back up again. And, oh, oh, come on, right after I said it was a pain in the ass to get up again. Alright, well, I guess I better show you how to get up, because... You can fall, and uh, there's a special way you have to get back up. You gotta use your grappling hook. Um, this could actually stump you, and seeing how you are on a time limit, this could be a bad thing. 
Um, like I said, you still have plenty of time, plenty of room for error. The only thing is, uh, if you if you keep falling like five times, then I mean, like, yeah, that'd be a problem. But falling once, oh, it's no problem unless you happen to walk at 0 0.9 miles per hour. Then I think you're fine. Um, anyway, so let's get back on that horse because we're, or in this case, this big slab of ice. And yeah, you're gonna want to be careful when you're going down that ice slide, or else. You'll end up falling in the water, and I'm sorry, Link, I probably gave you hypothermia when you're swimming in that cold water. Sorry about that, Linky Poo. You are always taking the hits for us, aren't you? You can pick up two rupees if you want here, but, you know, it's two rupees, who cares? Anyway, so here is our well-earned treasure. Yeah, see, we still have a minute and 41 seconds left. That's fine. And, um, you do need this item, that's why I can't even all. And we got the iron boots, much similar to, similar to in Ocarina of Time where you get the iron boots as well. They're a lot more convenient to use in Ocarina of Time though because they're actually something you put on X, Y, or Z as opposed to something you just put on in the subscreen. Um, so that makes putting them on and off a lot less time consuming pretty much. And the iron boots makes you super heavy so you can just go through your ass. Now there is a hole um, that you can jump down where the wind is and basically what's down that hole is just a bunch of monsters and if you fight them all you get a, a, an, 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 sorry, an orange rupee. But I'm not going to bother doing that. Um, okay. Okay, so really quickly, I am here to pick up treasure chart number 17. Yay. Which is, well, it's here. It's at Ice Ring Isle. Actually, I didn't have to go very far. Which is pretty convenient, if you ask me. Anyway, I thought to pull this baby up. Pull this bad boy up. See what it is. Oh, okay. Apparently, I'm on the wrong spot. Um, looks like I was lined up pretty well. Alright, well, let's try it again. No big problem. No big problem. Um,. I think I just combine it to no problem and no big deal there. And I'm still nowhere near it. Link, can you stop jumping out of the boat, please? I'd really appreciate that. Okay, well, alright, line ourselves up one more time here. Um, still more, a little bit more. Low to the left. No, your other left. Alright, that should be good. And don't be afraid, come on, put it in there. Stick it in. Wait, what? Um, okay. Let's put it the other way. I have a uh, faith in that <laughs> in that direction. Alright, here we go. Let's pull this baby up. Hmm. Hope it's more than just one rupee this time. No, don't worry. There's only one rupee in the entire game that you can get with the treasure chart. Um, yeah. Okay, well, if, if they're actually... No, I don't know what I'm talking about. Ooh, it's a silver rupee. Alright, that's 200. Nice. Okay, so I'm here at Windfall now because, well, there's stuff for me to do here. Basically, you remember those uh, 20 skull necklaces that I got at the Earth Temple? Well, there's something I gotta do here. And also, there's the Maggie side quest that I need to do as well. You know, the whole Maggie and Mo thing. Uh, we gotta do that. And anyway, so after you've mailed Maggie's letter, then um, you get this cutscene after you walk in. Honestly, you just don't understand, do you? Open up your ears. Yeah. Silence. I'm telling you, we don't allow postmen in here. Be gone, be gone. You know, isn't he technically a post bird? Because he's a retail and all. Okay. Don't be ridiculous. I went through great trials and tribulations to go all the way to the Forsaken Fortress and return with Moe's letter. Alright, so it is Moe's letter. Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Oh jeez, you're... Uh, you're nice. Then, please, be reasonable. Can you at least... Bleh? Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Okay. Just acknowledge I was here! Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Jeez, what a dick! Rock! Foolish man, now you've made me angry. I cannot even look you in the face any longer. Or I fear I might puke everywhere. I must go somewhere to cool my feathers. You go do that. I'm not gonna judge you. Well, what a wretched, unruly postman. I don't know anything about Mr. Mo in any Forsaken Fortress, and yet he always comes here bringing his letters. Don't you think Maggie would sort of overhear that conversation? You know, and say, oh, wait, Dad, no, I want to actually read that letter. You know, I know Mo. Well, I guess maybe not. Alright, well, anyway, so I guess... Um, as much of a tool that this guy was just being, we should give him the 20 gold, or 20, uh, skull necklaces that we got. Because, you know, I didn't do that for nothing, you know, so, uh, here you go. Because I know how much you like these. Eh? Is this one of the skull necklaces that my daughter, Maggie, brought back from the Forsaken Fortress? These sell quite well at antique shops. In fact, it was linked to these beauties that I became so filthy reach overnight. Reach? Did I just say reach? Okay. That's nice. 
Anyway. Hey, and from the looks of it, I'd say you'd have about 20 of these, don't you? Th they aren't easy to come by either. Frankly, I'm amazed you found so many. Oh, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be bathing in money yet again. The money bath. The only bath that gets you filthy. Filthy rich. Alright, boy. I'll get you this. I'll give you this as a tip. Now, I'm not just thanking you or anything. I'm just feeling good today. Well, I'm glad you're feeling good because we got a treasure chart. Yay. Um, we'll definitely be putting this to good use. Unless you give us another green ruby, then that really sucks. No, don't worry. <laughs> anyway, so, um, we're pretty much done with this guy for the rest of the game. So, let's go check down that postman. Because we gotta find him, you know? Okay, so it actually turns out that the postman went to the cafe, which is right here on the same island, to cool his feathers, so... It's only a few short steps away from where we just were, so that's pretty convenient. Now, I think this is actually the first time we've ever been to the cafe, so... Um... That's nice. Yeah, when you come in here for the first time, you get this view of the place. I have no real reason why I would have come here before, because there's nothing really that I could have done, so... Here he is. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry you had to witness me fly off the handle like that at Maggie's house. I'm most embarrassed. That man just... Never mind. Yeah, I know what you mean. To tell you the truth, though, I came to deliver a letter addressed to Maggie from a model named Mo. But as you saw, the girl's stubborn father won't permit me to give it to her. Well, that really sucks. What a stubborn, meddling old man, refusing to accept letters from the postman? Who has heard of such nonsense? Well, I guess we have now. I went to great trouble to go all the way to the Forsaken Fortress, and it was a most frightening ordeal, let me tell you. Yeah, I believe you, I've been there twice. If I don't deliver this letter, then I'm a failure to the delivery trade. And that would really suck. But, I have other deliveries waiting to be made. I cannot mope here forever. Actually, though, I have an idea. That old fool may not permit postmen, postbirds, on his premises, but surely he would allow you in the place, would he not? Could you deliver this letter to Maggie in my said? Sure, I'll do it. What do you say? Actually, I'm busy. No, I'm kidding, I'll do it. Honestly, young man, he, are, you are a lifesaver. It truly never hurts to ask. I shall leave this letter in your care. Why, thank you. You've got the Moblin's letter. Uh, this letter has a certain stink to it. Take it to Maggie. It has a certain stink to it, does it? Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy carrying this thing around with me. Um... Okay, so as you can see, we still have the two joy pendants. Not joy pendants, skull necklaces, because, yeah, he only accepts 20. He won't rob you of the extra two if you have, happen to have 22, like I did. Okay, so we're back here at the uh, this guy's house. And I guess we're going to give this to Maggie, because I don't have th anything better to do. And, yeah. So, uh, here you go, Maggie. Here's your letter. It stinks, though. Is, is that? Could it be? This letter from Mo that I saw in my dreams? Let me read it this instant. Go ahead. Um... This is Mo. I like you, Maggie. So much that I want to eat you for dinner. No comment. Did you hear that? Those words. This means... I mean, it just means... Blah, 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 can it be? Can it be what? Is this a marriage proposal? Uh, don't get your hopes up, Maggie. It must be. At last, my feelings have been conveyed to Mo. At last, he understands how I feel. This is the happiest day of my life. Trudy lu la lu la la. <laughs> From here on out, today will be the anniversary of true love for me and Mo. That's nice. Oh, and it, it completely slipped my mind. I must thank you for your role in this. To commemorate my anniversary of true love, I give you this. Oh, what do you give me, Maggie? I like your bunny ears, by the way. And we get a piece of heart, yay, which is uh, the first. So we need three more to get to 14 heart containers. Trudy Lulu. Alright, well I think that's all for this episode. Let's play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Um, I will see you on part 44, I guess. So, see you then.